Shalom. Call Halal Yahweh Bahashem Yahweh Shai Bahashem Rakak Wadash. Double honors to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone who taught me this truth and rule well. Salutations to the brothers out there that are laboring and pushing this truth in truth and in sincerity and in charity and risking their lives and their freedom to do so. To you I say Shalom. To the Akiam and to the Akwaf, that'll be your brothers and sisters. Adawan Rataza, that is to say, Lord willing. Hopefully, by the end of this lesson, you'll be edified. <clears throat> this is your brother Amawan Ibad from the GMS Miami camp. Back again with another lesson to the spirit and power of Yahweh, Bahashim Yahweh Shai, to feed the lambs of Yahweh, Yahweh Shai, as commanded. And what's on my spirit today? Tawadi uh, Abashim Al Shai for giving me the spirit to do this lesson. Okay, and um, what the spirit brought before me today is how the fact that we live in a polluted land. Okay, we live under the curses of the book of uh, Deuteronomy, the 28th chapter, from the, um, <clears throat> the 15th verse on down to the 68th verse. Okay, we live under those curses. Okay? And Baruch 3 and 8 says, Yet this day we sit in our captivity, but thou have scattered us, okay, for a reproach, meaning a shame or a disgrace, because we transgress against the Lord, right? Right? And say that we're subject unto payments. This is part of our, our punishment, okay, according to all the iniquities of our fathers. <clears throat> Roughly paraphrasing, uh, uh, Baruch 3 and 8. So we live under those curses, okay, and we're in a polluted land. Okay, but um, through the spirit and power of Yahweh by Shemiah Shai, the elect is going to be led out of this polluted land, okay, um, by way of salvation, uh, of, uh, of, of a miraculous work by the, the power of Yahweh by Shemiah Shai, okay, and um, going to be joint heirs with Yahweh Shai <coughs> and um, building the kingdom of heaven. Okay, and, and this place, this polluted land that we're in right now, this is not gonna come, this is not gonna come into mind, man. Because the kingdom is gonna be so beautiful, nice and righteous and words that you can't even think of to describe it. Okay, the scripture tells you that eyes haven't seen and ears haven't heard, you know, the things that the Lord have planned, roughly paraphrasing for those that love him, man. Meaning talking about the kingdom, man. Okay. But um I'm gonna open up, I'm gonna get um, I'm going to get two scriptures real quick To show you that we live in a polluted land But the elect is going to get salvation Because they predestinated to see it Within the Most High's borders And the kingdom of heaven This polluted land where we're in right now The daughter of Babylon, a.k.a. America Is not going to come into mind Because the kingdom is going to be so great That this place is not going to come into mind Okay, because it's polluted, man Everything you can think of that is wicked it go on into this place, man. Okay? Egypt all over again. Spiritual Egypt, spiritual Sodom and Gomorrah. All of that, man. Nineveh, Assyria. All this place in one, man. Okay? Greco-Roman Empire. All that mixed up in one, one big, you know? <laughs> anyway, let's get to the scriptures. This is the book of um, Amos. I'm going to start in Amos. Amos, the seventh chapter. And the 17th verse, it says, Therefore thus said the Lord, Thy wife shall be an harlot in the city. Okay? That come to pass. That's, that's prophecy. And thy sons and thy daughters shall fall by the sword. We see that all the time. Okay? We see Jake being shot in the street like it ain't nothing. Okay? The modern day sword is the gun. Okay? It says, And thy land shall be divided by line. Okay? That happened already. There's such a thing called the Belfort, Belfort Declaration, man. Okay? Look it up. It says, and thou shall, it says, and thou shall die in a polluted land. A polluted land, man. Okay? And Israel shall surely go into captivity forth of his land. Okay? And that happened already, man. Okay? Uh, what's that? Deuteronomy 28 and 68 tell you that. Uh, uh, let me get it. Okay? Because we were brought to the, to the Americas from the west coast of Africa, man. This is another part of the curses that we live under. Uh, let's get it real quick. Uh, Deuteronomy 
Deuteronomy um, 28 and verse 68. This is how we were brought here by, by according to the curses. Deuteronomy 28 and verse 68 it says, And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt, not ancient Egypt, the modern Egypt, which is spiritually America, man spiritual Egypt which is America the daughter of Babylon and the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again with ships now who came to the Americas in cargo slave ships man you so called Negroes man okay so called okay but you are the, you from the tribe of Judah Benjamin and Levi okay it says by the way whereof I spake unto thee thou shalt see it no more again and there ye shall be sold unto your enemies for born men and born women, and no man shall buy you. Okay, so who was the first commodity on, 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 on Wall Street, man? Okay, the first commodity, man. Right? What, 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 what Jake, man? Okay? Where well, you were getting slave treatment. Okay, being sold, bought and sold, man. All right? That's a part of the curse. What we live under. Okay? But you were brought here to a polluted land. Okay? Now the land was good. Mind you, the land was good. But at this point, it's polluted. And you can get that in the scripture. The scripture tells you that. See, I'm not, this, it's just not my words. I'm, I'm not making this up. When you go here to the book of Micah, chapter 2 and verse 10, it tells you, Arise ye and depart, for this is not your rest. So this is not our rest. Our rest is going to come in the kingdom. Okay, it says, Arise ye and depart, for this is not your rest, because it is polluted. See, that's the point. It is polluted, and it shall destroy you even with a sore destruction. Okay? This place is polluted, man. Okay? Make no mistake about it. The scriptures tell you that. Okay? We don't have no continuing city here. Let's get that. Let's go to the book of um, what is Hebrews chapter 13 verse 14 it says for here we have no continuing city but we seek one to come yeah we seek one to come man okay all right rest is allowed in the kingdom man all right it tells you rest is allowed in the uh, second as chapter um eight and verse right about 51 52 it tells you that rest is allowed man okay the Apostle Paul tells us, let us, let us labor to enter into that rest. Rough, roughly paraphrasing. So that's why we have to be out here doing the work, giving diligence to make your calling an election sure. Okay? This is, this is why you got to give diligence, man. Repenting, turning to the Lord, <clears throat> praying constantly. Okay? Scriptures say we can never go uh, far enough. Okay? Scriptures say to pray without ceasing, man. Okay? Because we need help. We need Yahusha. We need deliverance, man. For, for here we have no continuing city, but we seek one to come. Now let's go to the book of uh, 2 Peter. Let's go to the New Testament and get 2 Peter chapter 3. Because we seek one to come, man. All right? Here we have no continuing city. This is polluted. But we do seek one to come. Let's read it right here in 2 uh, Peter chapter 3. And I start at verse 12. And this is why we hasten the coming of the day of our Lord, because we need deliverance, man. Okay? It tell you that we need to be saved when you when you read Luke, the first chapter from 68, uh, going down, man. Uh, this is uh, 2 Peter chapter 3 and verse 12. It says, Looking for and hasting unto the coming of the day of the Most High, wherein the heavens being on fire shall be dissolved, and the elements shall melt with fervent heat. Okay? It says, Nevertheless, we according to his promise... Look for new heavens and a new earth wherein dwelleth righteousness. This is what we're looking for. Not a place that's polluted. We're looking for a kingdom of righteousness, man. Okay? Righteousness. Okay? Where your food is not polluted. Your food is not tainted. You're not eating GMO. You're getting real air. Real water. You know what I'm saying? The kingdom, man. Where a man cannot be with a man. A woman cannot be with a woman. No kind of going off in no kind of way. Not in the kingdom. Okay? Now the nations might do something out of the way, but they're going to be corrected. That's what the that's what the rod of correction is for. Scriptures say that I should rule them with a the rod of iron. So if they do anything and go off, they're going to be dealt with. Okay? Because so they're going to have to come up and learn our laws. But the kingdom itself 
it's going to, it's going to be all righteous because we're going to have those law statutes and commandments in our inward parts you know we're going to have those law statutes and commandments in our inward parts and we're not going to sin so we're not going to go off the wages of sin is death if you don't sin then there's no death okay so that's why the kingdom is going to be beautiful new bodies man incorruptible you're going to live forever okay so you should, that's just thinking of that alone thinking of the promises okay a hundredfold those who lose homes and wives and whatever to follow you how shall you're going to receive a hundredfold okay you, you start to see how great the kingdom is going to be and and and, and it's more and it's more okay so we ain't gonna be thinking of we're not gonna be thinking of of this polluted place man it's not gonna come into mind okay i'm gonna read it again second peter chapter 3 verse 13 it says nevertheless we according to his promise look for new heavens and a new earth wherein dwelleth righteousness wherefore beloved seeing that ye look for such things be diligent okay that ye may be found of him in peace without spot and blameless so you got to be doing the work man you got to be diligent so when the lord returned okay the apostle paul says so he could pu pu uh, present you uh, 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 as a, as a, as a, I believe he used the word virgin. I believe. I'm not quite sure. I could be corrected on the comment board, but Apostle Paul said, he, so he could present you, you know, uh, you know, uh, basically uh, spotless and blameless, man. Okay, to Yahweh Shai. Okay. And right here, Peter is Peter is quoting this from from uh, Isaiah, the Old Testament. Let's get that. Okay, because that's the scriptures that's going to that's gonna, uh, show you that this, this polluted place is not going to come into mind. Let's get it. Okay, Peter was quoting Isaiah. Okay, he's quoting the Old Testament. Okay, um, this is the book of Isaiah. Uh, Isaiah, the 65th chapter. Isaiah 65 and 17. It says, For behold... This is the Lord speaking to Isaiah the prophet. For behold, I create new heavens and a new earth. This is what we want. This is what we're waiting on to the sperm and power of the hour by Shemir Shai. And the former shall not be remembered. You see, the scriptures tell you that the former shall not be remembered, man. The kingdom of heaven is going to be so magnificent that this polluted land is not going to come into mind. Okay? For behold, I create new heavens and a new earth. And the former shall not be remembered nor come into mind so we ain't gonna be thinking about this place this is polluted we read the scripture earlier michael tell you michael 2 and 10 arise ye therefore and depart for this is not your rest it is polluted and it will destroy you even with a sore destruction okay just the words of the lord man the scriptures isaiah 65 17 for behold i create a new heavens and a new earth and the former shall not be remembered that's the point nor come into mind so all of this as you see going on right now, what we're going through right now, okay? The scripture tell you in the book of, uh, 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 um, what's that? Romans, let me see if I can jump there and grab, grab that real quick. Romans, the 8th chapter, where it tell you that for our light affliction, uh, it speaks about uh, what we're going through right now. It ain't compare. It, it's not to be compared to what we're going to get, man. Okay, so let me see if I can locate that real quick and I'm going to go back to Isaiah. So I think it's in, I think it's Romans the eighth chapter. I think it's in there. Um, Khan. It says verse eighteen. It says Romans chapter eight and verse eighteen. For I reckon that the sufferings of this present time are not worthy to be compared with the glory which shall be revealed in us. For the earnest expectation of the creature waited for the manifestation of the sons of God. Okay. Yeah. All right. So at the end of the day. What we going through right now, we just going through because we're under the curses. But the time is going to come when these curses are going to be lifted off of us. All right? It's going to be lifted off of us. Deuteronomy 30 and 7 tell you that. Okay? I can get an account of that also. Uh, Isaiah 51. Let's grab that. Then we're going back to Isaiah 65. But well, let's get Isaiah 51 real quick. Uh, Isaiah, uh, what is Isaiah 51. I think it's at the latter half of the verse. A lot of part of the verse come. Isaiah chapter 51, it says, Messiah verse 22, it says, Thus said the Lord, the Lord and thy power that pleaded the cause of his people. Behold, I have taken out of thine hand the cup of trembling. 
even the dregs of the cup of my fury. Thou shalt no more drink it again. Okay? Speaking of Zion, man, the children of Israel, the elect at this time. But I will put it into the hand of them that afflict thee, which have said to thy soul, Bow down, and that we may go over. And thou hast laid thy body as the ground, as the street to them that went over. Man, all of these nations, man, okay, they walked over us, man. Okay, Psalms 83, man, read the chapter and tell you, man, the nations that came up against us have, the, have their foot on our neck, man. Okay, so let's go back to, uh, 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 let's go back to uh, where we was in uh, Isaiah. Isaiah um, 65. Isaiah 65, because the Lord said, we ain't, we ain't going to remember this polluted land, man. The, the kingdom of heaven is going to be beautiful, okay? Magnificent, you know? Can't even think of some of the words because you can't describe it. The Lord, scripture says, eyes have not seen nor ears heard the things that the Lord has prepared for those that love him, man. Roughly paraphrasing, okay? I'm going to see if I can find that scripture before I close out too. But this is um, Isaiah 65 and verse 17 again it says for behold i create new heavens and a new earth and the former shall not be remembered this was peter was uh, uh, quoting this nor come into mine but be but be ye glad and rejoice forever in that which i create for behold i create jerusalem a rejoicing remember jerusalem is the people before it's a place jerusalem a rejoicing and her people a joy okay so, hey amen. <laughs> the Lord said, in my father's house are many mansions, man. If it was not so, I would say so. Roughly paraphrasing. Okay? The Lord said, he go and prepare a place for us. So the Lord went into the heavens, the spiritual realm, uh, sitting down on the right-hand side of the Most High Yahweh, man. Okay? He, he, he preparing a place for us, man. Okay? All right? So, hey, it's no going around it, man. This place ain't going to come into mind. Okay, so let's get, um, we want to get uh, Job. Let's get the book of Job. Furthermore, I'll show you how this place ain't going to come into mind. The book of Job, chapter 20. I'll start at verse 8. It says, He shall fly away as a dream, meaning the wicked Esau. Okay, because he's in rulership. It says, He shall fly away as a dream. He shall not be found. Okay, the wicked, according to Malachi 1 and 4. Yea, he shall be chased away as a vision of the night. Okay, point, verse 9. The eye also which saw him shall see him no more. Neither shall his place any more behold him. Okay. Because even his land is going to be given away. Okay. But the point is he shall fly away as a dream. Okay, it's going to be like, you had a dream. You ain't, you ain't thinking about this place ain't going to come into mind. Okay, the kingdom will be so beautiful, this place ain't going to come into mind. It's, it's not, it's, it's not going to come into mind, nor, nor be remembered, man. Okay, so, hey, man. Hey, let me see if I can locate that scripture before I close out, though. I, our eyes have not seen. Okay, I believe it's... Second Corinthians, I want to say two and six or six and nine. Let me just go there first instead of I searching it. Let me let me try to go to Second Corinthians, see if it might be there. Second Corinthians, um, I believe it's two. This Second Corinthians. Uh, okay, let me search for it because I'm I don't want to run out of time now. It's eluding me. Real quick, Baba Kasha. See if I can get that scripture before I close up because that's a beautiful scripture. Okay, it's first, it's first Corinthians 2 and 9. But as it is written. I have not seen nor ear heard, neither have entered into the heart of man the things which the Most High had prepared for them that love him. Man, that's talking about the kingdom, man. That's talking about what, what, what was promised to Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, man. Okay, the, 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 uh, the, uh, the, uh, and his and, and his offspring, man, the Israelites, man. Okay, a land flowing with milk and honey, man. Okay, uh, 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 spiritual power, man, incorruptible bodies, man. 
okay, the promised man, the kingdom man, okay, all things good, all things righteous man, okay, so A, that's it, I'm going to read it one more time, I'm going to close up with that, because this polluted place is not going to come into mind, man, but the Lord said, 1 Corinthians chapter 2 verse 9, but as it is written, I had not seen nor ere heard neither have entered into the heart of man the things which the most high hath prepared for them that love him okay so at the end of the day our praises be to yah bashim shai okay all right the kingdom of heaven is going to be established under yahweh shai okay king david all right uh uh uh, uh the 12 sitting on on those uh 12 thrones judging the tribes uh the 144,000. okay the one-third elect men women and children man Okay, ruling over the nations, man, the kingdom of heaven. Okay, beginning with Yahweh, Bashim Yahweh Shai. Okay, so hey, that's it, man. Lord willing, you were edified. On to the next one. Shalom.